Hello, everybody. So these are the warm-up problems. So typically, these uh, are just like you know, plug and play. Maybe uh, something a little bit more complicated, but you know, essentially, plug and play. So the first warm-up problem says, when you sneeze, the air in your lungs accelerates from rest to 150 kilometers per hour in approximately 0.5 seconds. What is the acceleration of the air in meters per second squared? And so, you know, we have the initial velocity is zero meters per second because you start from rest. The final velocity, I guess we can put it in um, kilometers per hour. The final velocity is 150 kilometers per hour, which is pretty significant. And it takes, so the delta T is going to be 0 0.5 seconds. And you are asked to find the acceleration. So, you know, this is. Um, I hope you can see that better. This is just zero kilometers. Um, this is, um, you know, as, as simple as they come. So the definition of the acceleration is the change in velocity divided by the change in time, which is, you know, velocity minus initial velocity divided by the change in time. And we have, you know, all the, all the ingredients that we need. So the initial velocity is zero, so we can ignore it. And so it's just the final velocity divided by the time. So the velocity is 150 uh, kilometers per hour. Whenever I see kilometers or kilograms or things like that, you know, I immediately um, convert to meters. That's very easy, right? So instead of kilometers, is whatever you have times 10 to the 3 meters. In this case, it's still per hour. And you, know, if you can simplify it even more. This will be 1.5 times 10 to the um, fifth meters per hour. And oh, this is the acceleration. And we want this to be in meters per second instead of meters per hour. So we need to put an hour over here to cancel this one out. And we're just multiplying times one. So what is one hour? Well, it's 3,600 seconds. So the hours go away, and you end up with meters per second. And the delta time down here is just 0 0.5 seconds. So we bring out the calculator, 1.5 times 10 to the 5 divided by 3,600. So over here, I get 41.67 uh, meters per second. And divided by 0.5 seconds, this is equal to uh, 83. 0.3 meters per second squared. Okay, this is the answer that is you can find in the homework. So you know this was very straightforward. You're giving you're given um, explicitly you're giving uh, two quantities 
uh, implicitly, you know, they tell you that this is from uh, from rest, so it means that it's at, at zero kilometers per hour. So you are given three quantities, and uh, that's all you need to calculate the the acceleration using you know, the direct definition of the acceleration. Okay, so let's take a look at the second one, which is only a bit more complicated. When jumping, a flea accelerates at an outstanding 1,000. So acceleration is 1,000 meters per second squared. But over the very short distance of so delta x is uh, 0 0.5. Uh, millimeters. If a flea jumps straight up and the air resistance is neglected, which is a bad approximation in this case because, well, fleas are very light, how high does the flea go? Okay, so this problem is actually two problems. So, uh, for the, the latter part of the problem, how high it is going to go, uh, we can use this equation. Right, which we saw in class. At the highest point, the final velocity is going to be zero. The acceleration is going to be, you know, just the acceleration due to gravity pointing down. This delta x is what we are being asked to calculate. So we still need this initial velocity. So how do we get that initial velocity? Well, we actually can use the same formula, but in this case, the initial velocity here is zero. Here is going to have this acceleration that we are given because you know, it's just jumping off from the, from the ground and delta x, uh, is given also. So this is zero because it's starting from rest. These two are are given. So we can calculate what is the velocity right after the, the flea um, ends the part in which it is uh, accelerating. So, you know, if you think about it, in reality, this is going to be um, 1,000 meters per second minus uh, the 9.8 meters per second, sorry, meters per second squared, minus the 9.8 due to gravity. So this one is pointing up uh, and this one is pointing down, but, you know, it's pretty close to, to 1,000. So let's, let's ignore gravity in that segment. Okay, so in order to make things a little bit more clear, I am going to uh, draw the diagram like this. So this is the, uh, it's gonna have initial velocity at this position, this is you know, the, the ground. Uh, over here is going to have, let's say V1, and over here at the very end is gonna have V2. And we know that this one, V2, is equal to zero, you know, because it's the highest point. Uh, in the next instance, it's gonna start going down. And this one is also zero because it starts from rest. So V1 is the only one that is not zero. So uh, what is this velocity V1? Well. 
v1 squared equals v nut squared plus 2a delta x. Um, we can simplify this equation because we just said that v naught is zero, so we can get rid of that. And uh, we're looking for this velocity. We are given the acceleration and the displacement. So 2a delta x. Um, I guess I'm going to put a square root over here. So two uh, square root two, the acceleration is 1,000 meters per second squared. And the displacement is given in millimeters. So, you know, as I mentioned before, whenever I get stuff like this, I immediately convert to to meters, so this is 0 0.5, and millimeters are times 10 to the negative three, right? So times 10 to the negative three meters. Square root. So let's look at the calculator. And here, you know, the, you're gonna have meters squared divided by second squared and it's square root of this. So this is meters per second as expected because you're looking at a velocity. So two times 1000 times 0.5 times 10 to negative three, this is equal to one and square root of one, one. So this is one meter per second. That is the velocity over here. Okay, so now that we have that velocity, we can use the, the same equation. So it's gonna be V2 over here squared equals initial velocity, so V1 squared. So you know, notice that there are two segments. In the first one, this is the final velocity. In the next segment, this is the initial velocity. So it's done segment wise. So V1 plus 2A delta X. And we're being asked to calculate this distance delta X. We know that the speed at the very top is zero. So we can replace just that by zero. Um, this one, we can move it to this other side uh, as a negative. So minus V1 squared and then divided by twice the acceleration and we end up with just delta x. Okay, so this is gonna be negative one meter per second squared divided by twice. Uh, this is the acceleration due to gravity. So negative 9.8 meters per second squared, right? And this is negative because uh, the acceleration now is pointing down. So you have this negative with this negative, um, you know, they become positive. So you can forget about them. Uh, the units, well, you have meters squared uh, divided by second squared over meter divided by second squared. So we can get rid of the second squares and we can get rid of this meter and this meter. 
And so the units are meters. Uh, and that's good because this is a distance or a displacement. OK, so uh, here we can just take uh, our calculator. It's going to be 1 divided by 19.6. And that is 0 0.05. Uh, one uh, meters. And the answer uh, on the homework is 5.2 centimeters. So you know, there, there's probably some um, approximation that was made. Um, but yeah, it's pretty close. So this is in meters. And this will be two decimal places. You move the point over here, decimal point. So this is 5.1 uh, centimeters. And that is the final answer. So yeah, this problem has two segments. And you know that's that's common for for uh, physics in uh, problems in physics. All right, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.